today we're going back to my first Excel project that I got paid for. I knew this photographer who was also a painter. He would do custom artwork for people. And he was having problems with his pricing because he would quote something at the beginning and at the end, it was all messed up. And usually he had quoted something that was short of what he should have charged. The thing that was tripping him up was the framing. He would do all of his work, take it to the frame shop, and that's where he would get the bad surprise. I didn't know how this was going to go. I reluctantly agreed to it and figured I'm going to give it a shot. This data represents data he had from the frame shop from his old receipts. The 40 by 30 frame costed $74.60. Based on this old receipt data, is there any way to get a decent estimation of what a 66 by 25 frame would cost? Now look at the data. We've got a 50 by 28 that cost 81.20. The prices are ascending. The width is not ascending or descending and neither is the length. So here's how I approached it. I'm going to go here. Square inches equals 17 times the 12. Double click. Then I thought, what does this look like in a graph? I'm going to go square inches here. Hold down the control key. Price. Insert. I want a scatter plot. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is a straight line. What is the equation of a straight line? Y equals MX plus B. Y equals the slope times X plus the X intercept. So there are a couple of ways that we can figure out what's going on here. We can figure out the slope equals slope known Y's that's going to be our prices. Known X's, the square inches, enter. Our slope is 0 0.033. We could put all of that in and then figure out what B is, and then we would have our Y equals MX plus B. But let's do this. Chart design. Add chart element. Trend line linear but I'm gonna go further more trend line options display equation on chart there it is the framing shops pricing formula y equals 0 0.033 x plus 35 we're not gonna do this 009 part let's move this we don't need to slope anymore. Now, how much will a frame cost that's 66 by 25? I'm gonna type price here. That is the Y. Then we need M, which is the slope. And that's 0 0.033. Then we need the length and the width then we need B which is 35 so our length 66 width 25 price equals 66 times 25 times the slope and I'm gonna push F4 close parentheses plus B F4. Format this as money. This frame should cost $89.45. When your kids ask you what good is algebra, there you go. Y equals MX plus B and also 
graphing the data just to see how it looked. See you in the next video.